Hi everybody, it's Leah Rose, and I'm really excited to introduce to you my new little mini-series called Let's Talk About Cosplay. Um, yeah, it sounds really vague uh, and very broad in general, but that's because we are making it up as we go along. Um, basically, I want to hear questions from you guys about uh, what you want to know about behind the scenes of costuming, of cosplay, at working at Comic Cons, anything related to that at all. So uh, this is going to be an upcoming series. Um, I'm only going to produce it as long as I have topics to talk about. I have, I think, like six ready to go right now. So obviously I've got material for a while. Um, I'm going to try to keep these decently short, but still informational. But you know how I can talk, so they might not be that short. Uh, anyway, so first topic that we're going to be talking about is copyright. Um, I've had a couple of questions about the uh, copyright rules for um, actually using somebody else's character, for one. But the bigger question that, pe that comes up a lot, especially lately, is about uh, photographer rights when it comes to shooting your costumes professionally. So, first off, the faster and easier one is about the characters themselves. Technically speaking, yes, cosplay is copyright infringement. Um, however, nobody ever is going to uh, prosecute, if that's the right word for it. Um, and a lot of times they actually can't because cosplay, nine times out of ten, is considered um, not in violation of uh, fair use, if, if that makes sense. It, you are not claiming that you created the character and you are not claiming that you designed the character unless you do something fan art, in which case it's, it's a little bit different. But uh, most of the time, the only time that a creator is going to have a problem is if you say that you created the variant or the costume or the character or whatever, which nobody does that anyway, because if you're recognizable, then there you go. Uh, but they will not care unless you are mass producing costumes and selling them in that way. Uh, this doesn't necessarily count as commissions, but I know a couple of years ago there was a huge problem with people selling Jane hats from uh, Firefly. So as long as you are not mass producing and selling, then it is generally fine. Uh, the only time that people have ever really had a problem is Disney sometimes has issues. They're known for being very strict on copyright, which if you're Disney, you can kind of get away with that. Um, and so many things are bootlegged anyway, like cosplay related items don't even get, the companies don't really pay that much attention when there are much, much, much bigger fish to fry. Uh, aside from that, if you go to cosplay.com, there's a really good thread about it on there. I don't know what this hand motion was, but it was fun. Um, cosplay.com. And there is a deviant art um, on antiquity slash dreams is deviant art. Uh, she has a really nice journal up. He, them, I'm not really sure. Uh, if you Google deviant art is cosplay copyright infringement, there is a really, really great article about that one. And long story short, yes, it technically is on that part. But no, you will not get in trouble for it unless you are mass producing. Uh, yeah, there's number one. <laughs> uh, number two is about photography and cosplay. And this is where there's been a lot of drama lately because you, you can very easily understand both sides of the story. On the one hand, there, now you can see my hand. On this hand, uh, you can understand that legally speaking, at least in the U.S., the photographer automatically holds the rights. Period. The end. That means that the cosplayer has no right, at least right off the bat with nothing signed or agreed upon otherwise, the cosplayer has no right to edit, to print, or to basically use them at all. Which sucks. But it is their right, 
and and that's just how it works and a lot of times that does make sense because i mean for example um a really good example that i found was uh wedding photography uh however that is a paid okay that's a really bad analogy <laughs> never mind um but on the other hand it is the cosplayer's work um while the camera did cost a lot of money and you're assuming that this is somebody who is a professionally trained photographer um it is the cosplayer's costume they've put on all this time and this effort and this energy into the cosplay and if we can't use the photos for anything at all then what's the point of getting the photo done in the first place the way that i see this being solved is either photographers need to be a little bit more open about having their stuff used which and i understand if they're not but when you shoot with a cosplayer especially someone who does sell prints then i feel like they need to be prepared to be willing to let them sell prints if if they give them a percentage or if they give them a fee flat out or however the situation may be but outright saying no doesn't seem very fair uh and also i think that personally i'm going to implement a new policy to where i will not shoot with a photographer um unless they sign a contract giving me the rights to it or i get paid for the photo shoot because doing it for free and then getting nothing out of it because i'm not able to use the photos it's it's a crap situation for both a lot of times um like the cosplayer and photographer community is really 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 close like tight knit so a lot of times people are are reasonable about it and you can come to an agreement and um a lot of people are especially including myself have taken to making um like small contracts just saying that we both have complete and total rights to this um say for selling the copyright or usage of it itself like no selling it as stock photography or anything like that um and if anything like that were to come up to contact the other person to discuss the terms but aside from that using it on social media printing editing completely like ready set go like do whatever you want and that's usually the way that it works really really well um and you don't have to do that for all of the photos uh for example bald pirate photography and i uh made a deal with one of our big shoots to where he and geek news network own the rights to some of my photos i don't how and they can do whatever the hell they want with them i own the rights to other photos from the same photo shoot so that's what you can do so you can have something sort of exclusive if that makes sense um so yeah unfortunately for cosplayers fortunately for photographers in america uh the photographer owns the right flat out and we cannot really there there is no way to get around that um if you're friends with your photographer then awesome you can work it out but if you are not then there's really not a whole lot that you can do um and the only way to make sure that you are supporting the cosplayer with your print sales because sometimes photographers will sell the photos which is fully within their right but because of that copyright belonging to them there is no guarantee that you are supporting that cosplayer by buying the prints from the photographer the only way to guarantee that is to buy the prints through the cosplayer and hopefully they will they would be open enough with you to explain like how much they get from it or like percentage wise if they get the entire thing or anything like that either way either way <laughs> buy from the cosplayer and you're supporting the cosplayer um and probably partially the photographer too buy from the photographer you are only supporting the photographer more than likely um so yeah uh that is how copyright works in cosplay with both character rights and with photography rights 
Um, it's, it's a little hard to explain, so I'm sorry if I didn't make too much sense. And I don't mean to sound, like, uh, bitter about it in any way. Um, I have had my fair share of bad experiences with photographers, um, not being upfront about their intents on copyright. Um, is even after the shoot, like, before the shoot, say, yeah, 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 everything's fine. Um, you will have complete rights to, to print and sell if you want to. And then after the shoot being like, no, you're not allowed to. So, and they can do that legally unless they signed a contract beforehand, which I should have done. Yes, I know that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have on copyright. If you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments. Um, and also leave me ideas for my next Let's Talk About Cosplay video coming up. Let me look at my, let me look at my phone so I can tell you what, uh, what we, uh, have. We have copyright, which we just did. The process of cosplay, which I mean, like, picking which character, doing, like, how to actually start making it, like, the fabric choosing, all that sort of stuff. Uh, competition in cosplay, which is going to be a fun one. Uh, horror stories and best stories. I'm hoping to get some of my friends in on that one. Uh, sexism in cosplay, which is also kind of fun. And the business of cosplay. So there's that. A lot of very much behind the scenes, not incredibly lighthearted sort of stuff. So yeah, if you have any questions about any of those, or if you have any questions about anything, or you just want a digital high five, then let me know. I hope you have an awesome day. Take care.